does additive manufacturing enable you to print a fully functional uh, PCB with absolutely no process steps beyond hitting print? And it's about leveraging the printing of two completely separate materials, polymers and metals together, and laying them down in thin layers over and over to create that part that you that you need. So pulling in from your Gerber files, you can imagine what the what the printer is doing is it's laying down material. You start with nothing, and as you build up from a very thin part, it gets thicker and thicker, rises up. You guys will be familiar with how the vias or the interconnects allow you to bring that signal from one layer in the board to another. And essentially what the printer does is it adds material in X or in Y at exactly the right location to make sure that your metal goes through where it needs to go through or that your polymer protects where it needs to do that coverage. And that allows you to repeatedly print with thousands and thousands of passes up to the point where you reach the desired thickness of your final PCB, which will then have all of those interconnects, those through holes, those plated through holes, the vias, um, the, the, the ball grid arrays, the spirals, the planes, all of the features you'd expect in a regular PCB are created uh, step by step as that board grows from, uh, from nothing. And this is obviously how you'd make a, a four layer board, but there's no reason not to keep going and produce 12, 16, 20 layer boards really depends on the design that you want to achieve.